Hi there. How are you? I'm very good. Thank you. How are you? Just want to show you the menu today. Yeah, excellent. I've had the crispy okra before. Are they still on your menu? Yes, we still have them. They're very popular, so we cannot give up on them. When I've had the crispy okra before, they were delicious. They still are. I'm going to ask you a big favor. Yeah, of course. Would you allow me to watch the crispy okra being made? Of course. Just let me double check with the chef. Yeah. He's okay. all right with that. Thank you. Hey brother. Hello. So I'll be, I always have a request from the guest and they always ask me about uh, two things. One is dal makhni and one is uh, crispy okra. Okay. How do you make crispy okra very very crispy? I try it at my home and never work it out. So let's do it today and we will do everything from the scratch. How we make it to try to till play. So it will be like this. You can, you can you can feel the sound even. If you drop this one, you can feel the sound. Yeah. Crispy at your home you can try with these recipes. Very simple, very easy, very quick. So, so we have all the ingredients here. So okra, okra will just slice, but when you're slicing the okra, make sure the all the slices have a same thickness. If you make the one thick and one thin. One will be burned, one will be raw. One if you want a little bit thicker, it will be work as well. If you cannot slice like a, a very professional chef, but you can have a thicker as well. Yep. But need to be uh, all the slices evenly. So mm -hmm. be careful when you're using your sharp knife. Uh, chefs have a lot of experience and they, they have a lot of chopping. So they can do like this, but they can, in your home, you can go slowly with your knife. If you love your finger and nails. <laughs> okay, so we have now this. We will keep with this one here. And now we have here. Okra. And what we'll do, the now is tricky part. What we have, we put the salt first. Don't put any ingredients. A little bit of salt and uh, rub it. So they release the water a little bit. The, then you add some chili powder for the spiciness and uh, and do the same process so you can use your gloves if you want uh, because chili and you can, you can see the they're going uh, getting out moist now and for the more you have a ginger garlic paste little bit ginger garlic paste and a little bit as wine if you don't if you don't like as wine you don't need to add it and then mix again even see now you have a moist and now what we'll do keep it inside this one and add some gram flour some rice flour and some corn flour. Don't worry about the quantity. If you see the big one, uh, you have more this one and less this one. Don't worry about that. Uh -huh. Mix evenly these three all. Yeah. And then you rub it this. So there is a no water. There is a no water. And slowly, you very gently, you play with this. And if you see the bunch, this one, just both sides like this. So you just separate and these. Yeah, separate it. Yeah. So if you go gently, the never stick. So you can see the all the single single piece. Now, then, so what, what do you, do? you do? Slowly you put in your hand, and then press it a little bit. Ah. Yeah. And then you again, so then press it, and then you separate it from the flour. You don't want to dirty your oil. So I will put in the strainer. Give me a few. You have a strainer. Now just strain your okra. So you can take it out or you can put the different strainer. You have a chinois or something. Anything. Yeah. And then it's ready to go fry. So and this is ready to go fry. Okay. 
Okay, so this is a little bit of fry, I'll just put in the fry. So we will do like this now. So we have two fry, one we have a vegetarian, one we have a um, uh, meat and seafood. Yeah. You see? So now getting fried. You can see, look at the windy now, how it looks. Yeah. And if you see the bubbles are stopping, that means it's already crunchy and moist go out. Till you have a moist with the bubbles there. So a little bit of weight, a little bit of this. So. But, but uh, don't worry, if you touch now, it will be not that crispy. If you touch now. But let out a little bit outside, just go for the color. And then. I put some uh, paper, kitchen roll, observe the oil, so you can see it now. And uh, we put some little bit of chaat masala when you serve. So chaat masala we put here so we don't dirt the plate when you serve. And then yeah, so and uh, ready to serve. Thank you chef. Allow to a little bit rest if you touch now. It's not that tasty, yeah. but if you touch it in five minutes, a little bit rest, and then see how crunchy will be. So, check out that oil one. Yeah. Now I think it's ready. Look, you can, you can hear the sound now. And then we serve like here. And, uh, so that doesn't take long to cook nice okra. And uh, we serve with the coriander chutney. And some coriander on the top, the garlic. That's really quick as well. Yeah. So they're just careful with the cutting, careful with the mixing, careful with the frying. That's, that's it, nothing else. No water. Uh, yeah, please try and you have proof as well. When sometime in the camera people tell me, oh, this is uh, very nice, but you tell me, how is it? Now you can see the crispness and the chutneys. Yeah. So I'm going to take another bite before yeah. I, yeah. I say anything. I have to say, absolutely delicious. Very crispy, the right level of chili heat. Very tasty, very Moorish. I feel like having another one. I'm sorry. Yeah, but please, enjoy. Um, please, you. please, you have a taste. Yeah, I, I did, I did, I have. Thank you. Have a little taste of the chutney there. Yeah. Try the taste of the okra with the chutney. Yeah. The chutney and the okra together, even more delicious. Amazing, thank you. Um, I'm glad you like it. I'm a fan of your chutney. I'm a fan of your crispy okra. I'm not a fan of okra in Many curry. people don't like because of the stickiness. Yeah. The, the texture. The okra has lost the usual stickiness, which yeah. people dislike. Mm -hmm. Don't have that texture sticky. here. The uh, texture is gone, that one. This is really delicious. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What did you use? So first, I cut the okra. Yeah. yeah. Then the salt. Then the ginger garlic paste a little bit. Then the ashwain, chili powder, and we mix very well, very gently. Yeah. And then I mix three flours separately, and then I add it with the okra. Christmas yeah. comes from the rice flour. The rice flour and corn flour. And the corn flour. And the flavor uh, ground flour. We tried to make crispy okra at home. We struggled. Two years ago we tried for Christmas. We didn't mm. want to make it this year. It's too difficult to make, but we'll try this. Now you yeah, so you, know, you can see the video again and again, and uh, you... Uh, and you'll know to make the okra now. Crispy okra restaurant is started at home. Thank you. Thank you, Chef Santos. Thank, Thank you. you. So, uh, follow for more recipes. Follow the YouTube channel and uh, enjoy more recipes. Thank you. And we do not, we do not upload many more recipes. Until next time. Thank you. God Thank bless you. you. Namaskar. Namaskar. <laughs> Thank you. Bye bye. See you. Bye bye. See you. Bye bye. Thank you very much. Thank you for your visit. Hope to see you soon. Until next time, God bless you. Thank you.
Thank you. Bye-bye.